So 2022 was actually a really fun uh, and adventurous year for me and my family. We had the privilege of going on multiple trips and adventures. We got to do things like ride in a biplane, uh, take helicopter rides, and we did a lot of hiking. So naturally, I had a lot of opportunities to be taking photos along the way. Most of what I captured this year was a lot of family photos and memories on trips and hikes and stuff. But I also got to have fun uh, with things like watch photography. That is something that continues to be kind of fun for me and is a very enjoyable part of the hobby that I'm involved in with watches. And I got to try something new this year, uh, which was aerial photography or airplane photography. I tried my hand at trying to capture planes flying in the air and it was very challenging, but also it was very fun. And probably my favorite aspect in terms of photography this year was simply going hiking with my family, especially this fall. We had a lot of opportunities to go on some really cool trails and I came away with some pretty cool pictures of just some nice woodland photography. And to me, that was a very enjoyable part of getting to shoot photos this year, was spending time in the woods and capturing just, just a general feeling of what it was like hiking and just being in the woods. But I wanted to show probably my 10 favorite photos from this year. Most every one of them, as you'll see, it's, it's of my kids and in the woods, hiking and going on adventures. So we'll start with this one here. This is a photo I took of my two kids running up this path to get to the top of the hill and my daughter was leading the way and my son was chasing after her. And it was just a great moment with the sunlight coming through. And just this photo just really kind of shows the beauty of where we were at. And I love it not only for that, but just showing this moment between my two kids running and playing in the woods. So this photo ended up being one of the ones throughout the year that means a lot to me and my wife. And me, from you know just a photography standpoint, I think it's a beautiful image. I really like the lighting, I like the environment that we're in, and I like the subjects, obviously, and I like what they're doing. So this is another one of my son. Uh, we were going on adventures, and I captured this one of him just kind of, you know, squatting down on a big boulder. And this specific trip, we were, you know, hiking through the woods, but then we would come out and see, you know, this massive river with boulders all around, and we would do what we called boulder hopping. So as he and I went hopping from boulder to boulder and just having a fun time, you know, there's just one specific moment that I got of him crouched down. And I really like it because I love the woods on the right-hand side of the photograph. And then contrasting it, that with the bouldery river on the left-hand side. And I just like capturing my son in this environment because we have so much fun. So there's a lot of good memories tied to it. So this, another one of my favorites of the year. And then we have this one, uh, another one of my son. <laughs> Imagine that. This was kind of at the end of a hike. Uh, you come out into this really cool waterfall and it's quite a big area and it's quite a tall waterfall. And so I just got a photo, uh, a long exposure actually, handheld with the X-T20 and that little kit power zoom lens. I was able to hand hold it for, you know, a long enough exposure to get that really smooth of the, you know, the smooth waterfall. And I just so happened to get it at the same time that uh, my son was reaching down to grab a leaf that was sitting in the water. And I just, I really like a lot about this photo. I like the environment we're in. I like the context around it. I like catching him in action of trying to play with a leaf. And again, it's just more memories of, you know, doing what we love. We love to go hike. We love to be out in the woods. And this is another photo that just really captures that. So really this is just one big theme, uh, if you can't tell. So next we have this photo of my son. We were hiking once again through the woods. And this time he's got a little backpack on and he decided to stop and kind of lean against this log. And I kind of quickly snapped a few pictures of him and this one uh, ended up being one that I really like. I like, he just, so it's a very personal photo. To me, he is growing up super fast and he looks so old and mature in this one. And once again, the context of what we're doing, we're out hiking again. And I love the pose he's in. I love the pose his body is in. I like the look and his, the expression on his face. And there's a lot about this photo that just I really like. 
And here we have a photo of my daughter. This was on one of our early trips this year. And I captured this photo. It was one morning for breakfast. We went out to get like muffins and coffee and the kids were drinking little fruit smoothies. And I happened to snap this picture of her as she was drinking her smoothie and looking at me. I like the little bit of light that's kind of behind her and up above. And it's just a sweet kind of, uh, you know, snap in time of my daughter when, you know, I think this was probably only about five or six months after bringing her home. But it's a photo that I, I really like. I think it's really cute. And there's not a lot to it. It's just mostly sentimental. <laughs> And then we have this, which I took uh, just a few months ago. And this photo I really love because this kind of encapsulates her personality. She's very joyful, very happy, and that's just kind of how she is all the time. She has amazing hair. She gets compliments on her hair almost everywhere she goes. And so this photo really shows, you know, her. she's bouncing up and down. But I love this photo because it just shows a lot of her personality. And uh, the last one of my daughter, this is probably one of my recent favorites. I took it just a few weeks ago. And once again, it, it shows, it does a good job of showing just her natural state. She's always smiling. That's like, this is a good representation of how she is day to day. And specifically here, she's taking a liking to helping her mother cook and bake. So this one, I got, you know, a photo of her stirring as she really is starting to enjoy this, helping her mother in the kitchen. And yeah, it, it, it's one of my it's one of my favorites from this year. And this is from uh, one of our uh, earlier trips this year. We were actually climbing the stairs of a lighthouse. Every so often you'd come across a window that looks out. And my son just got done climbing the stairs and went to this window to look out and I kind of hollered at him to get his attention. And this was just him in the act of whipping around. And uh, I got that photo of him. And there's a lot of like about this. I like the lighting coming in from the window. There's a lot of good shadows. I, I just really like the contrast of the image and the lighting and his kind of sudden movement. But once again, just another photo that's special because of the memories tied to it and what we were doing. And then finally, this one. Uh, this is a photo that we took, once again, hiking. And I really like, of course, we've got the lighting coming in with the sun. So we got some rays that look pretty nice. But uh, I, I just love his personality. He's hilarious. And he was trying to strike some sort of superhero pose for me. And I really like the way it turned out. And this is a favorite of ours. So there you go. There were some of my favorite images that I took this year. Pretty much, I think every one of them were of my kids. So <laughs> you can kind of see where my interest in photography lies nowadays. It really, there's so much value that I put into photographing my family, just kind of documenting what we're doing, the trips we go on, the adventures we have. And that's basically what I focus on now. That and, you know, getting watch shots. Still rocking the X-T1 and the X-100T primarily. The only exception being for a few months, I bought the X-T20 just because I wanted to try it out and see how it was and make a video about it. So a lot of my shots from, you know, all of our fall hikes were on the X-T20. But, you know, after I made a video about it and got to try it out, I ended up moving it along and sold it. So now I'm just back to X-100T and X-T1, still rocking those two cameras. We've got some really awesome trips planned for 2023, and the X-100T will be the camera that comes along for the ride. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing some of my favorite images from this past year. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.